Hey everyone and welcome. As you're probably aware, Tucker Carlson was booted unceremoniously off Fox for reasons still not quite perfectly clear. And I do believe that we have rock, rock, rockets, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Although I do suspect it's just so that he can't be in the mainstream just before the next election. Because he's a danger, isn't he? Because he tells as much truth as he possibly can. Well, let's have a listen to what he said. He's just come out on Twitter with a new video claiming he's back. Let's have a listen. Hey, it's Tucker Carlson. You often hear people say the news is full of lies, but most of the time that's not exactly right. Much of what you see on television or read the New York Times is in fact true in the literal sense. It could pass one of the media's own fact checks. Lawyers would be willing to sign off on it. In fact, they may have, but that doesn't make it true. It's not true. At the most basic level, the news you consume is a lie a lie of the stealthiest and most insidious kind. Facts have been withheld on purpose, along with proportion and perspective. You are being manipulated. Now, you hear what he says there. The media don't actually lie. What they do is they omit sections of the truth. So that if they're ever pulled by, say, fact checkers or lawyers or anything like that, they can say, well, we were actually told the truth as far as we could tell, etc., etc. So they're not actually telling lies. They are actually omitting the truth, which is effectively the same thing as lying, isn't it? So he is right in that front. Now, I was lucky, my mother <laughs> used to work in a press office when she was younger, and she's always said that you can't trust journalists in the slightest. They're all lying, backstabbing snakes in the grass. <laughs> she actually said as well, she wouldn't even trust one to put the bins out for her. So I was lucky in that respect. I've always known that the media are manipulating. But this is good to see, isn't it, that Tucker's come out with both barrels blazing, even though they've tried to, tried to silence him. And the next thing that he comes out with is a huge F you, because he's effectively going somewhere where they can't cancel him. Have a listen to this. How does that work? Let's see. If I tell you that a man has been unjustly arrested for armed robbery, that is not, strictly speaking, a lie. He may have been framed. At this point, there's been no trial, so no one can really say. Say. But if I don't mention the fact that the same man has been arrested for the same crime six times before, am I really informing you? No, I'm not. I'm misleading you. And that's what the news media are doing in every story that matters every day of the week, every week of the year. What's it like to work in a system like that? After more than 30 years in the middle of it, we could tell you stories. The best you can hope for in the news business at this point is the freedom to tell the fullest truth that you can. But there are always limits. And you know that if you bump up against those limits often enough, you will be fired for it. That's not a guess, it's guaranteed. Every person who works in English language media understands that. The rule of what you can't say defines everything. It's filthy, really, and it's utterly corrupting. You can't have a free society if people aren't allowed to say what they think is true. Speech is the fundamental prerequisite for democracy. That's why it's enshrined in the first of our constitutional amendments. And this is the important bit, everyone. Tonight, there aren't many platforms left that allow free speech. The last big one remaining in the world, the only one, is Twitter where we are now. Twitter has long served as the place where our national conversation incubates and develops. Twitter is not a partisan site. Everybody's allowed here, and we think that's a good thing. And yet, for the most part, the news that you see analyzed on Twitter comes from media organizations that are themselves thinly disguised propaganda outlets. You see it on cable news, you talk about it on Twitter. The result may feel like a debate, but actually the gatekeepers are still in charge. We think that's a bad system. We know exactly how it works and we're sick of it. Starting soon, we'll be bringing a new version of the show we've been doing for the last six and a half years to Twitter. Where there won't be as many outside forces, hopefully, telling him what he can and can't say. So this could be, I mean, don't get me wrong, he is still a journalist. And as my good mother said, they're all snakes in the grass, probably including himself. No offense, Tucker, but you know, profession you chose. But it may be that he actually starts pushing back from Twitter because he can't be cancelled off Twitter, can he, if he's not breaking the rules of Twitter? And that's glorious at the moment, isn't it? The left are going insane because they can't lie anymore. So let's carry on listening to the rest of it now. We bring some other things too, which we'll tell you about. But for now, we're just grateful to be here. Free speech is the main right that you have. Without it, you have no others. See you soon. So there you go, everyone. He's coming to Twitter with the same show that he's pretty much been doing for quite some time on Fox. 
that's made him the second most popular show on Fox. So it's a bit of a shooting yourself in the foot, isn't it? And this hopefully will release his shackles a little bit and he can push back even more. So well done on him and well done on Elon Musk. I'd like to know your opinion, though. Do you think this will change anything? Do you think he'll be able to do any better work on Twitter? Do you think he should have gone somewhere else? Let me know what you think. Stay sane. See you on the next one.